Hi everyone, uh, I am Abdullah Lagari. Welcome back to lecture number four. And uh, today's lecture is all about paragraph writing. In uh, previous lectures, uh, we have talked about uh, vocabulary building, we have talked about sentence structure. That was the last uh, class. And we have generally talked about writing skills as well. And today's class is very important to me because for you all as well, because what I think uh, for advanced writing skills, it is the paragraph that can help you a lot. It is the paragraph uh, that can uh, develop your uh, uh, writing substance in an effective manner. Until you produce a good paragraph, you cannot move or you cannot proceed in uh, your advanced writing skills. Uh, so dear everyone, let everybody be there and uh, um, I'm, I'm sure that everybody has uh, uh, got the material I sent you on the Google Classroom. So those who have got the material, I want everyone to, to acknowledge if they have got the material. Because uh, I would like you to go through that material also. I would certainly engage you in some slides as well for uh, more understanding of uh, paragraph writing. Because uh, this class are generally speaking, because there are two versions, like number one is theoretical version and uh, another one is uh, the practical version. And we have to cover both the versions of uh, paragraph writing. And in today's class especially, we will certainly be going through the theoretical version of paragraph writing. We will cover the theoretical aspects, what paragraph actually is, right? And um, moreover, uh, today's class, in today's class, things to cover will be like uh, what is paragraph and uh, why is the paragraph writing that much important? And uh, number three, what needs to be the length of a paragraph that is uh, always confusing for the students. They also ask questions regarding the length of a paragraph. And then the parts of a paragraph and uh, what do we what to do before writing a paragraph and how to write the main idea or the thesis statement of a paragraph. Uh, everyone, I have sent the material on Google Classroom and uh, I have uh, shared details on Facebook status. You can go and uh, you can find the material there, right? And then uh, we will be talking about uh, what should be the uh, length of a paragraph and uh, how should a thesis statement be written and then uh, what should body of paragraph consist of and how to conclude a paragraph and then finally uh, the, the revision, revision and editing. These are the stages that we will try to cover in today's lecture. But before I start speaking about paragraph, I must tell you that uh, in today's class, uh, uh, I have uh, already said that uh, we will be focusing on the theoretical version of paragraph, right? And somehow there will be some uh, practical activities as well. And the next class will be moreover a uh, practical version of uh, paragraph writing. So before we start uh, paragraph, uh, I would uh, like you to tell me what paragraph actually is. Yes, everyone. I would like you to tell me what is paragraph. Whom do you call paragraph? What paragraph actually is? What is paragraph? I'm giving you uh, 60 seconds. For the very first question, that is about paragraph itself. Yes, what is paragraph? This is the very first question. Yes, let's see what the people say. Uh, first, I want everybody to be there, right? And once everybody is there, then I will be starting and I will be giving you my own 
input as well. But before everybody joins me, I would like you to tell me. Uh, yes, uh, Fatima Bro says uh, it is uh, a distinct section of a piece of writing, usually dealing with a single thought. Yes, wonderful Fatima. Uh, it is a combination of sentence which provides certain idea of a description. Yes, that's right. After a long time, it's really nice to write. Uh, I thought that it's uh, about paragraph. Yes, uh, paragraph is a part of uh, a piece of writing that usually deals with the one subject that begins with a new line right and that is made up of more sentences. Good. Good. That's wonderful. That's right. But I still want uh, others to give their remarks about paragraph, what paragraph actually is. Uh, that's right. Uh, uh, I'm very happy to see your active and positive uh, response here. Yes, give me more ideas about uh, your concept of paragraph writing. It is the group of lines related to single theme. Uh, fine, fine. Um, let's start our discussion now. Uh, is Asif says it is the group of lines related to single theme. I would say. Uh, you're right, your stance is uh, really wonderful, but uh, let's discuss. Uh, it's the combination of sentences with uh, proper right. Yes, yes, fine, fine. And still there are 10 seconds left. Then um, I'll be starting what paragraph actually is. Yes. Fine now, paragraph is actually a group of sentences or uh, even a single sentence. A group of sentences or a single sentence that talk about the one theme or they talk about that single or uh, one idea, right? So, a combination of sentences or a single sentence that forms a single unit or all those sentences are about the single topic or single theme are the one theme that is called a paragraph right I'm coming again I'm reading paragraphs are actually the uh, building blocks of papers many students define paragraphs in terms of length right uh, they say that paragraph is the one that has uh, uh, one page length or two pages length or uh, four and a half page length they define paragraphs in in terms of length but uh, what paragraph actually is, uh, is told you or as you have given you ideas that paragraph, yes, of course, it is the combination of sentences that talk about one main theme or one single idea, right? That one main theme or that single idea, we can call that single idea is a main idea because it is the idea all sentences are about, right? It is the, what we say, uh, uh, that's why it is the main idea or sometimes we call that uh, the key sentence because it is the sentence the whole paragraph is all about right and there is another name uh, uh, for that sentence also um, uh, that is the thesis statement right so the three three uh, names for one concept right the main idea or uh, the key sentence uh, that we call topic sentence or uh, number third one is uh, the thesis statement right main idea in the sense that this is the idea that all sentences are dependent on right thesis statement in the sense it is the statement it is the statement which is considered the key or which is considered the main statement that is called that is why it is called the thesis statement right now and uh, a paragraph is uh, a group of at least five sentences. It has to have at least five sentences, right? A paragraph uh, is uh, half a page long. In reality, now the unity and uh, coherence of ideas among sentences is what constitutes a paragraph. But again, I would say paragraph, uh, you know, we can define that paragraph, a group of sentences that talks about the one main idea and that idea is got uh, three names as I told you the name one was uh, uh, topic sentence or uh, 
uh, are the main idea are the thesis statement and we, we will certainly talk about these concepts as well uh, how many of you have received the material uh, let me see if you people have uh, got the material so that I should engage you into that material as well and uh, yes how many of you uh, I don't think so you have got right a group of sentences fine fine I uh, see uh, I have given here a slide in which uh, I have given up a, a page in which there are uh, certain paragraphs had you been there you would have uh, easily identified the number of paragraphs there in that one page right only one only one person has got the material and this is why how important it is to find the material you haven't right and now the next thing is what do you think the next question is what do you think what should be the length of a paragraph now what do you think what should be the length of a paragraph yes after you are done with uh, the concept of paragraph now what do you think what should be the length of a paragraph Uh, you haven't received that. Mm. Right, right. But now tell me what should be the length of a paragraph. Forget about this material. Uh, see, you should have uh, you should have gone to the Google Classroom and you sh you should have received that. But fine now. Uh, at least five sentences and 100 to 200 words right one to two pages fine right a paragraph should be 100 to 200 words long and be no more than five or six sentences right 150 to 200 words fine 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 uh, don't worry about the material now you can uh, you can access that material afterwards three sentences to 200 words uh, fine yes I want everybody uh, to give me the response on this question it may be two pages and uh, one and a half page 150 words right 150 words right okay fine fine yes others please uh, 50 to 200 words okay fine fine okay anyways uh, as far as the length of a paragraph is concerned that's not fixed right that depends on the nature of a topic but however uh, yes as I told you the paragraph can be uh, uh, what I say uh, that it's all about uh, the nature of the topic you're writing on and that nature of topic de decides the length of a paragraph and uh, it's not fixed in any ways in some styles of writing particularly journalistic styles a paragraph can be just one sentence long also right a paragraph can be uh, six sentences also right ten sentences as well and uh, surprisingly it can be one sentence long as well in journalistic writings for example in newspapers right in newspaper articles you must have gone through when you read the standard newspapers like dawn newspaper right um, uh, other local newspapers in english right over there you can find the length of a paragraph that can be of uh, one sentence also a paragraph is a sentence or a group of sentences that support the one idea you know let's talk about that one idea what that one idea is you know 
that one idea we call a topic sentence or key sentence or main idea or the thesis statement right uh, do you know what the thesis statement is what is thesis statement you know there are three names for one concept that is main idea right number one number two is a topic sentence number three is a thesis statement three names for one concept so you need not to be confused if you find different names right but the concept is only one uh, now tell me now tell me what is the the main idea what is main idea i need your opinion about main idea yes yes everyone what is that main idea or thesis statement or topic sentence i can see different people here one of my class fellows uh, a lecturer at uh, university of sin she has also joined me thank you very much nazish no right yes what is the thesis statement or topic sentence what is the topic sentence in paragraph what's your opinion about it it is a sentence in which we find who we talk about actually okay fine uh what else asif says it is a sentence in which we find whom we talk about actually right it is a sentence a most important thought about the topic right so topic sentence is the most important thought about the topic right good uh that contains the most important statement of that i guess yes yes you're right this is the most important statement that is why we call it a thesis statement because it is the statement the whole paragraph depends on excellent raj that expresses the main idea of essay right a research paper a uh, fine but uh, let's restrict to the paragraph now main idea is uh, whatever the topic is we must write about the topic that's called the main idea right that's right excellent yes uh, i'm giving you uh, 30 more seconds to talk about what main idea actually is yes everyone i need your response a uh, thesis statement is a class that shows your views about topic in the end of introduction a paragraph of essay right it says it is uh, the main statement ah oh, that's right that's right fine uh, as far as uh, the thesis statement is concerned we call it uh, the topic sentence is a sad because it is the sentence that defines a topic it is a sentence that explores more about the topic it is a sentence that uh, what do you say explains that that elaborates what topic is all about or what is within that topic that's why we call it a topic sentence right it is uh, called a thesis statement as well why because uh, it is a statement that is considered the main statement right and uh, it is a statement the whole paragraph or all other ideas are one way or the other concerned with that main idea or main statement that is why we call it the thesis statement as well now let's talk about what is a thesis statement again i want everybody's attention now right a thesis statement is just like a seed right uh 
there is a seed and the seed is what for example that can give birth to uh, its crop right and that crop will be called as so other ideas other sentences right but that main sentence is actually the that seed right a thesis statement is just like a seed and the whole discussion and the arguments should look like growing from that seed right for example when you writing a paragraph right uh, you have to start your paragraph uh, with uh, the main idea or the thesis statement in most of the cases but uh, not necessarily in all cases right and sometimes uh, that uh, thesis statement has to be in the middle as well and sometimes professional writers uh, write i uh, include their thesis statement in the end as well but most probably that thesis statement has to be in the very beginning in the start right we will again talk about it and i have given some slides as well and in which i have given the relevant examples as well and i would have been really uh, pleased if you would have if you had gone through that material and you would have seen that and your concepts would have been stronger than right now right as i said thesis statement is like a seed and the whole discussion and the arguments should look like growing from that seed this means that uh, they must have connection with the thesis statement right for example your thesis statement is just like a, a statement that is considered the most important statement right most st statement most important statement in the sense that all other ideas are about that statement right uh, no idea or no sentence is uh, what we say irrelevant or uh, every sentence is relevant is related to that thesis statement that is why the thesis statement is more important right and uh, as far as uh, the uh, the structure of uh, paragraph is concerned the structure of uh, our parts uh, of a paragraph are concerned uh, what do you think how many parts uh, a paragraph a paragraph does contain how many parts how many parts should a paragraph consist of how many parts you think right how many parts should a paragraph consist of yes Yes, how many parts? Uh, let's see what people say. How many parts a paragraph should consist of? The very first part I have told you, uh, that is, uh, that has been repeatedly talked about. There is a thesis statement. The part first is there. Right. What other parts does a paragraph consist of? a uh, four parts fine sarfa says four parts right uh, fatima says three parts fine uh, three parts right let's see what other people say three okay five parts my goodness right five parts three parts three is coming in consensus Uh, but again, there are people who say five and some people say four. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, three parts. Yes, there are three parts. Certainly, there are three parts of a paragraph. Number first part, the paragraph starts with is that we call topic sentence number one. Or you can call it thesis statement. And number two is, what is the second part of a paragraph? Second part of a paragraph is the body of a paragraph, right? The body of a paragraph. And the part number three is, yes, what is the part number three? First is thesis statement. Second is the body of a paragraph. And what about part number three? 
what is the third part of find what is the third part of uh, yes third part of uh, paragraph <coughs> Okay, fine. Third part is the conclusion, right? So, there are three parts. Uh, thesis statement and body of the paragraph and third part, yes, that is, of course, the conclusion. Now, uh, let's talk about, uh, because as I told you, and today's class is very much theoretical, right? Uh, we will not touch the practical version of uh, paragraph writing. It will be in the next class. Next class will be more over a uh, a practical class in which I will be subtly engaging you into writing, uh, developing thesis statement, a uh, body of the paragraph, or how to conclude that paragraph as well, right? Ah, uh, yes, that's fine. That is the conclusion. But before we write a paragraph, before we write a paragraph, is as, as I in the start I gave you the example. For example, I said the thesis statement is just like a just like a seed, right? and uh, its flowers are uh, you know just like the body of it right now see uh, that seed for example now what is the process of that seed for example the seed has come from from something certainly and what that something is now that something is called brainstorming in writing we call it brainstorming Brainstorming is uh, actually a planning part. See what happens uh, when you start writing a paragraph uh, and we do not plan the things. This means uh, uh, we are writing a paragraph without brainstorming. You know what happens? Then uh, the starting ideas come in the end and the ending ideas come in the middle and the middle ones in the start. So this gives uh, a disorganized look and uh, this is quite awkward also and this can irritate your examiners and this cannot leave the positive impression of your writing. In order to be uh, well organized, in order to give the proper sequencing to your ideas or in order to include all relevant information in uh, your paragraph, what you need to do is that you have to go for the brainstorming. Now what that brainstorming is? Actually, brainstorming is a planning part where you uh, compel your brain and it starts giving you ideas, right? Once, for example, uh, when you start writing, nothing comes here, right? You, you keep on starting and you keep on writing and that is a random attempt, right? Now, if you plan first and then you start writing and uh, this will be finer than the first attempt. Why? Well, because you are planning your things. Once you go plan, this can be more effective than the unplanned piece of writing. So brainstorming is what that can help you a lot. Uh, let's say how brainstorming can help you a lot. In the sense, for example, you've got a topic, right? Are you given a topic to write on? Are you have got a topic to write on? <laughs> what you need to do first is that you need to start thinking about it. So what comes to you about the topic? right or wrong, relevant or irrelevant, whatever comes to you, start writing on the piece of paper, right? Uh, uh, let's say I'm, uh, I'm giving you a topic for uh, brainstorming, because uh, as I told you, brainstorming is what that can help you a lot before you write. Uh, it's more over a planning, right? Uh, let's say the topic is, uh, uh, let's say money, right? Money, the importance of money. So what ideas are coming to you about money? What ideas are coming to you about money? Let's brainstorm, brainstorm on this topic. The topic is the importance of money. Now what ideas are coming to you about money? Is whatever the ideas are coming to you, just give me the ideas about the importance of money. Uh, yes, 
let's see what ideas are coming about money and after brainstorming we will talk about how to develop or how to improve a paragraph or what next the paragraph should comprise of but before we move to the theoretical version of the paragraph I would like you to give me sentences give me ideas on money so yes uh, finally ideas are coming so money is everything right money is important for business right yes fine excellent yes yes others please uh, money is uh, comfort of life yes comfort can be right there can be comfort in life with money uh, that's fine that's perfect yes others what is the importance of money for you uh, all right that's something in another one okay so what ideas are coming to you about money you can purchase anything with money right that's fine that's perfect that's perfect you're awesome right the importance of money you can purchase everything right uh, everything but not more than your comfort okay people say money is everything they are saying we can purchase everything with money so that's why everybody is after money uh, they think money is what that matters the most to be strange right life is basis on money life is based on money fine money is necessarily in order to survive in life luxuries of life with money luxuries of life can be snatched with money uh, okay but happiness is also something that comes from the inner side okay so money can give you the luxuries of life oh wonderful yes through money you can't purchase feelings exactly you can't purchase happiness exactly or uh, money can fulfill your uh, basic needs huh? money can give you an opportunity we can help needy people through money without money we can even help needy people if our intentions are very positive we can make our life luxurious with money right there are so many people living happily without money they have some money oh, that's fine uh, there should be money but uh, we should uh, not be rushing after money right there should be a certain limit of uh, earning that money right now you've got the concept uh, see this was a technique uh, like brainstorming brainstorming is what that engages you that involves you into getting so many ideas about the topic of your interest are the topic of your concern are the topic you are given to write on are the topic you want to write money money can buy anyone and anything uh, can i buy everyone can buy people but not everyone can buy something but not everything one can complete his needs uh, yes the needs could be fulfilled with money fine that's right uh, see this is how uh, so many ideas are coming to you right so similarly in the same manner what you need to do is that money can buy and one okay, I, I won't argue uh, it's uh, your belief you think that money can buy anyone fine uh, there are there are certainly some people who couldn't be bought by money right okay fine anyways uh, that's right now uh, before you start writing 
you have to take a piece of paper and write all the ideas on the topic you are given to or you want to write on, right? Now, uh, this will help you. This will actually give you some ideas. And uh, without uh, brainstorming, uh, you were quite empathy. There was nothing, com nothing coming to you. And uh, when you had started, uh, you would have made so many mistakes also. And uh, you could have uh, uh, disorganized or uh, you could have uh, given an improper sequencing to your ideas uh, without brainstorming. See, brainstorming uh, can help us a lot. Whatever the piece of writing you want to write on, it's not only the paragraph writing, right? Even in essay writing, even in uh, uh, any, any drafting, right? It's very, very important for university exams also. You must brainstorm the question first, see the question, divide that question into some parts and then start writing the ideas and then you may start writing the way you have planned or the way you have brainstormed. Right, this was the brainstorming. <coughs> and now let's talk about uh, the qualities of a good paragraph, right? As I told you, today's class is, uh, today's class is, uh, 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 it will be talking about the theoretical, theoretical version on paragraph writing and that's why we are not uh, engaging you into practical activities that will take place tomorrow. The very first activity is that your paragraph has to be unified, right? Unified uh, means all of the sentences in a single paragraph should be related to that single idea that the paragraph is about. In that sense, your paragraph has to give a unified look. Your paragraph should be unified, number one. And number two, clearly related to the thesis. See, thesis means thesis statement. Your thesis statement, as I told you, is the main statement, right? And in the body of the paragraph, you will be giving such ideas, such sentences that are supporting your statement, their thesis statement, right? In that sense, those ideas have to be, have to have uh, clear relevance or uh, clear attachment or uh, they should be very much related to the thesis statement. The sentences should all refer to the central ideas or thesis statement or the paper. And uh, number three quality is coherent. The sentences should be arranged in a logical manner. Do you understand what logical? You know, logical is, for example, you should give them the proper sequencing. So the first, the most important event comes first, that it gives birth to other events, right? In this way, so the very first event has to be in the beginning, and the second most event has to be, you know, and then, and, and, and this is how there has to be a chain of thoughts, right? That is why we say the sentences should be arranged in a logical manner and they should follow a definite plan for development. Definite plan in the sense, for example, uh, when you ask the, for example, when you're writing the aims of my life, right? You want to start with uh, the university education or you want to start with the college education. Certainly you would start with your childhood and then you start writing about your school, life and then the college life then the university life and then the professional life right and this is how there has to be uh, you know a proper sequencing of uh, ideas and the number four quality of a paragraph is it should be well developed every idea discussed in a paragraph should be explained in detail and supported through evidence right and you have to give evidence as well now let's talk about the uh, let's talk about how to write a paragraph now how do you write paragraph what do you do when you are given a topic when you are given a topic what do you do first When you're given a topic, what do you do first? You start writing? Uh, 
Are you think before writing? What do you do that? Are you plan before writing? What do you do before writing a paragraph? Yes. And then uh, we will talk about uh, introduction. You start writing introduction. Fine. Uh, Fatima says fine. Brainstorming. Uh, that's good. You go for brainstorming. You, in, you introduce a topic on the spot. Right. You think about. You think about. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Thinking is actually uh, planning. As you say, brainstorming. That's fine. Outline. Ah, that's wonderful. That's excellent. Yes. What else do you do? Uh, brainstorming. Fine. 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 Introduction. Right. Now, uh, before we start uh, writing a paragraph, certainly we have to decide what to include what, or what that paragraph should be about or what, what are the ideas that uh, a paragraph should contain. Right. Fine. And now let's talk about the elements uh, that help us to write a paragraph. So what are those elements? Element number one is unity. Uh, uh, it will be a repetition. For example, I have talked about unity as uh, unity in a paragraph begins with a topic sentence. Every paragraph has one single and controlling idea that we call the main idea that has to be there. In that sense, a paragraph must have unity. Number two is order. You know, order matters the most. Order or uh, in other words, we can call uh, sequencing. Sequencing of ideas or arrangement of ideas. This is very important, right? So you need not to compromise with the sequencing or order of the sentences at any cost. You must be very careful about it. So order prefers to the way you organize your supporting sentences. You know, order comes next. For example, first there has to be uh, the thesis statement. After you're done with the thesis statement, then there comes the order. Order is what? This is about the body of the paragraph. You know, the ideas that you're writing about that thesis statement, right? So in these ideas, what should be there? So you have to certainly develop or maintain the proper order or you have to organize your supporting sentences. Whether you choose, uh, you have to choose the order of importance. As I already said, what is the event, what is the idea that you think is most important that has to come in the beginning? And then what is the idea that is least important that has to come at the end? This is how there has to be a proper order when you're going for developing a paragraph. Right. And then the third one is coherence. Coherence is uh, the quality that makes your writing understandable. You know how? Uh, you know, what other problems what other problems do you face when you're writing a paragraph? Or when you're writing anything? What other problems do you face when you're writing anything? For example, in the middle uh, I found so many students, they get stuck. You know, even my, I myself, uh, we are also humans, we get stuck. So what other problems you face when you're writing? In the middle of writing, you face some problems. What are those problems you face? Thank you very much, Islam. Yes. What other difficulties you face when you are in the middle of uh, <laughs> yes, grammar mistake, right? Some people have grammar issues, and and let's see what are the issues with uh, other people. What other problems do you face when you are in the middle of uh, writing a paragraph or any other thing, any other piece of writing? Yes, please.
शॉर्टेज है वक्त पे यस दैट्स राइट यस यू लेक द एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स डू नॉट कम इफेक्टिव थॉट्स राइट देर इज अ रिपीटेशन ऑफ थॉट्स सेम आइडियाज यू कीप रिपीटिंग एंड सेम वर्ड्स ऑल्सो यू डू नॉट फाइंड the choice of different words there has to be a proper choice of words lack of arrangement and fix yes that's right that's true yes what else you you think how can we give arguments see uh, when you have written a thesis statement right and then it is the body of the paragraph body of the paragraph is what which contains uh, all those ideas that are supporting the thesis statement right in that body of the idea in that the body of the paragraph what you need to do is that you have to certainly give examples you have to give argument and those examples and those arguments have to have connection with the main idea with the thesis statement or or in the end for example you have to relate your arguments or you have to relate the examples you have given the quotes you have uh, written or any other survey, survey report that you have mentioned you have to re relate these things with uh, the main idea right and this is how you can give arguments right you can certainly give arguments but those arguments has to have those arguments have to have uh, connection with uh, the main idea or the thesis statement as we said fine fine so these are the difficulties certainly you have to and uh, yes we'll also talk about how to cope up with uh, the difficulties you encounter in the middle of uh, writing a paragraph right the element number 3 is coherence coherence is the quality that makes your writing understandable sentences with a paragraph need to connect to each other and work together as a whole you know all those sentences look like as if one sentence has come from another one second sentence you know third sentence has emanated from the second one third from the fourth one fifth from the fourth one right sixth from the fifth one in this way there has to be the connection of sentences of those ideas with one and other that we call coherence right and for this connection you can use uh, some transition uh, you know words also for example firstly right secondly thirdly you can use connectors as well right furthermore uh, in addition nevertheless however consequently right so these are the words that can make your uh, uh paragraph coherent right and number fourth element is completeness completeness means a paragraph is a uh, well developed right if all sentences clearly and sufficiently support the main idea then your paragraph is complete right the concluding sentence or the last sentence of the paragraph should summarize your main idea or um, or uh, the thesis statement right so the completeness is once you have uh, talked about uh, the topic in uh, detail means you have given relevant examples you have uh, used arguments also you have uh, uh, given some uh, what's it, given a relevant statement and then you have related all those ideas with that one thought that we call the thesis statement and then finally you can conclude that you know how do you conclude that paragraph how to conclude paragraph uh we should conclude paragraph using these words uh like uh, uh to conclude to sum up or uh, in a nutshell or to cut the long story short right you can use these words and uh, it's uh, you can preferably use these words right 
to conclude in a nutshell to cut the long story short to precise thank you so you can use these words and uh, from this the writer can come to know the the examiner even or the reader even that you are going to conclude your paragraph right fine now let's go ahead see uh, we have talked about uh, how to uh, develop uh, a paragraph is uh, i told you that this is the theoretical version in the next class it will be a practical version right and uh, had you gone through these slides this would have uh, given you what we say uh, a, a, a real concept of how the paragraph is and uh, how how that paragraph uh, comprised of parts and what those parts are right in the slide i have mentioned each and everything right uh you can see or uh, once you are done with this class and afterwards you can see that slide as well so over there i have talked talked about these issues as well i uh, see now i would like to talk sentences on uh, how can you conclude your uh, paragraph using these words to sum up in a nutshell to sum up in a nutshell to cut the long story short in some or sometimes uh, keeping in view or in view of both right give me uh, give me sentences please give me sentences how can you uh, how do you conclude your paragraph now use these words and give me sentences on these words give me sentences on these words please yes give me sentences on to sum up in a nutshell in view of above hence consequently in this way give me sentences please yes give me sentences everyone consequently fine uh, that's fine but use them in your sentences use hence in your sentences consequently in sentences to sum up in your sentences or nutshell in sentences the question is i'm coming again the question is use because we were talking about the conclusion right when we are going to conclude our paragraph we use some words and from these words examiner comes to know that you are going to end now right like uh, to sum up like uh, consequently therefore in view of above right and in a nutshell to cut the long story short now these are the words that conclude a paragraph right so the concluding sentence starts with these words now my question is give me sentences using these words to conclude a paragraph please yes for example consequently consequently this was proved uh, this has been proved that science is a blessing right in a nutshell we can say that uh, yes that's right or as a whole as a whole the steps taken by the government are beneficial for the public right yes like this can you give me a uh, hence from above points we can conclude the
that the money is important in our life right right or we can say based on the above discussion precisely i lost in my words when i saw him after a long time i lost in my words when i saw him now yes you can say surprisingly also uh, yes that's right yes that's right precisely is also a word that that you can use in the end as well when you are going to conclude a paragraph hence they do it for self for themselves uh, that's right yes other sentences fine and in today's lecture we talked about uh, the theoretical version about uh, paragraph writing that what is a paragraph the discussion was started from this right you all uh, gave me your opinion about uh, what paragraph actually is and then you talked about uh, what should be the length of uh, a paragraph again uh, the par length of a paragraph varies depending on the nature of the topic in view of above we assume that money isn't everything in the long run we made out that money is not every but something and it fulfills our dire needs that's right that's fine that's fine fine so we talked about paragraph writing and then what should be the length of a paragraph and what are the parts of a paragraph like we talked about the thesis statement and then the body of the paragraph and then conclusion as well and we also focused on uh, before we start writing a paragraph it is much better uh, it's uh, preferably much better for the students to go through a planning part that we call uh, uh, brainstorming brainstorming is what that helps us develop a better paragraph since it is all about planning once we go planned we can I, our ideas cannot be disorganized our random ones are uh, irrelevant ones right so we, we can maintain clarity we can maintain relevance as well and our piece of writing can be organized once we go through this uh, uh, process that is called brainstorming and that's very very important for all sorts of uh, writing even for the exam purposes as well as i talked about right and uh, in the next class we'll be talking about uh, the practical aspects of paragraph writing i will certainly be engaging you to 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 write uh, the main idea or how to write uh, the body of the paragraph or how to give arguments and how to relate those arguments to the thesis statement or the topic sentence that we can call as well okay? and i would like everyone to access the material that i have uh, you know uh, 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 sent in the google classroom right you must go there and find the material because uh, without material uh, it looks uh, it looks uh, as if you are not planned one right you must go through the material as well this is really really important and then you can discuss the things as well right thank you everyone uh, if you like this uh, video you can mention your friends also you can share this video as well so that most of the people can benefit the most otherwise there are so many videos but uh, we are trying to do what for example we are trying to interact with uh, you people in that sense uh, it's uh, it can be quite helping for you people and uh, just listening to the videos uh, uh, that's fine enough but uh, being engaged uh, and uh, once you are being monitored uh, that that is very very useful so if you like this video uh, you must share on every social forum thank you very much everyone see you again for the lecture 2 on paragraph writing which will be based on the practical version of paragraph thank you very much